Hi, we're here today at Imperial Measures and I'm here with Chris Jones, who's, uh, what's your position here, uh, uh, Chris? Uh, well, I think of everything from uh, dog trainer to driver to you know, manufacturer to <laughs> sales to yeah, right. management to you name it. Right. You know, whatever he's doing, we sure. do. Um, yeah. Certainly initially, we've got some staff you now to cover a lot of those mm. bases, thankfully, some wonderful staff. Um, very much a team environment here. But David and I um, started the business back in 2015. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've pretty much been doing everything that he's doing okay. from the get-go there. Fantastic. And you've got some uh, wonderful lines here, I see. What, what's your best seller? Oh, probably the original, um, the Ounce Gin Signature. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the one that we, that's the first gin we released and still the favourite. It's most widely available. We definitely produce more of that than we do of everything else. But there are, you know, there's, there's a growing, different, they're very different range, you know. The, mm -hmm. the bold here is probably like the, the most uh, awarded product we have. Um, uh, the Mandarin liqueur is a bit of a, Bit of a local favourite because we make it from locally made, locally um, sourced mandarins, so that that's got its own little uh, cult following, as it were. Um, the vermouths uh, pick up a lot of traction interstate because they're rather uniquely made. They're sort of sous vide, so look, yeah, um, at the risk of sounding like a sales pitch. They're all different um, and have appeal for different reasons. But yeah, the original um, signature is, is clearly our biggest seller and probably our most popular product. Yeah. Hey, brilliant, and. Uh, uh, could you, could you um, perhaps just show us yeah, around the place a little bit? Sure. Yeah. So here we are in the bar, mm -hmm. the first place to come into. Mm -hmm. This is where the team make the cocktails yeah. we make. Yeah. Um, uh, and yeah, so this is where it's sort of it's the introduction for everyone. But yeah, we're, we're a production facility first and foremost, but we try to turn it into a comfortable space for people. So if you come out here, you can see, see where things are happening. As it were, uh, we're here in the middle of the day, so it's more of a production phase uh, than anything else. So you can see Sam here working away, leaving away currently. Hi, Sam. <laughs> um, Sam, say hello to Thebiton. <laughs> yeah, Graham, the group. And yeah, uh, as you can see, it's set up uh, to accommodate people in a comfortable environment. We've got the burgers that we can make up there, people can sit and lays on the couches. They're not set up for the moment. We're just yeah, mm -hmm. essentially, this is a, a comfortable space that people can be in. No, it's a lovely space. Yeah. I, I understand you, you have uh, quite a thing here happening on Friday nights. Friday nights are definitely a thing. They're yeah. the original uh, sort of late nights. Mm -hmm. um, so we go to about 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock during like all the months. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a thing, bit of an after work sort of vibe. Mm -hmm. um, Saturdays go quite well as well. We're, we're here from midday, but we go, we go late as well. So that, that gets a bit of a bit of crowd. If the weather's good on the day, on the weekend, and we get a lot of people just flowing through and spending a bit of time here, maybe bring their dogs, that type of thing. Yeah. Sundays we have live music, they're on the stage oh, over fantastic. here, behind yeah. you. And, um, always, yeah. and always a good place to come for, uh, for a drink if, it, uh, if you're thirsty, I suppose. Yeah, anywhere, if you're, if you're wandering around Thebiton, you know, which is what people like to yep. just do in the, in the warmer weather, yeah, we're just one of the... One of the pit stops on the way through. All right, and it's you have nice and right, and you have food available too, apparently. Oh yes, uh, the Smash Burgers are pretty, okay. pretty famous. We've got Elliot, our Burger King, oh. working on those Thursday through to Sunday. So they're uh, they've become a little bit of a, of a cult following as well. Oh, they've got their own Instagram page. Oh wow, well, I, I have had one, and uh, they are fantastic. I must say. Yeah, I probably have one or two too, but don't tell anyone. Okay. Um, look, and probably one last thing: is, is it possible to uh, have a um, make a cocktail, we can do which, that. which I'll be paying for, of course. So uh, this is a Negroni you're about to make. Is that right? Negroni, yes. Okay. Um, cheers. The interesting thing about this is it's an all in-house Negroni. Yep. So we make all of the components. Right. Um, so traditionally a Negroni. One of the easiest cocktails to make. Over here, actually. It's all equal parts gin. We like to use our in-house ounce gin signature. So it's got that lovely citrus pop. 30 mils of that. 30 mils of a ruby bitter aperitif, which is a bitter Italian, southern Italian style Amaro. Ooh. So equal parts of that. And the final component is you need a sweet vermouth. And we're not wine, we're not wine makers, but we know some. Uh, and this is scarlet vermouth that we make. 40 botanicals that we've individually sous vide to go into this. And it's equal parts with that as well. So it's three equal parts, all in a mixing glass. If you 
really want to just mix it in your own glass, you could do that as well. Stir it for about 30 seconds. Down she goes. All we're trying to do here is just add a little bit of dilution and uh, and chill it down. So you don't want the ice clinky clinky too much because it'll separate and break apart. But if you can just stir it around and stir it through the drink, make it chilled. Mm. Yeah, lovely colour by the way. Yeah. Um, fill your glass with fresh ice. And then all you need to do is drain this out. I oh, like so. Good at this. It gets easier after about the minutes. <laughs> um, and then the final component, just add a little bit of expressed orange peel. Oh, that's beautiful, mate. Nice and touch. There you go. Okay. Oh, well, Negroni. Uh, I'll uh, try, that, try that. And uh, cheers to that. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's lovely. Pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, and thanks for showing us around. Oh, no worries at all. Cheers, Happy mate. To. Bye.